Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Eastwood for Life Fan and it's been a while since I had a Blu-ray hunt in London so today I'm going to go to London for the first time since August which is around about a uh, one hour um, train journey and I'm going to meet my good buddy Dan, Physical Media for Life and we're going to go to the uh, FOP store in London followed up by uh, Foyle's Bookstore and also uh, Forbidden Planet and check out a few CEX stores and see uh, what movies and movie related items I could pick up. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage that I uh, shoot on this trip to London.
So guys, to what I picked up in London, uh, I do hope you enjoyed all that footage that I shot. And not only did I go to the London FOP store, Foils Bookshop and Forbidden Planet, I did manage to visit two CEX shops, which I couldn't shoot any uh, footage inside, but did pick up four titles there. So we'll show the uh, CEX pickups as well as the uh, FOP store pickups as well as a book first one being some like it hot comedy classic uh, made in the 1950s the late 1950s from uh, legendary comedy uh, director billy wilder my favorite marilyn monroe movie some like it hot uh, you also get tony curtis and jack lemon in this one uh childhood memories in watching this comedy classic uh, probably my favorite marilyn monroe movie along with uh, the seven year itch would probably be my second favorite but almost did pick this one up for 10 pounds in the fop store but managed to pick this one up uh, second hand for four pounds in uh, one of the cx shops also with another comedy classic uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, missing from my collection with Robin Williams and Sally Field. Great family uh, comedy movie, this one. Always enjoyed this movie. And uh, a couple of horror movies that I did pick up in my London trip. I uh, picked up Poltergeist 2, which I do have the first one and also the third one i uh, always had trouble trying to track this one down uh, in a cx shop but yep there he are uh, yeah craig t nelson he returns in this one uh, this one i didn't mind but it's not as good as the original uh, movie poltergeist so that completes my poltergeist original trilogy Christopher Walken movie that I actually was going to pick up when it first came out from uh, Eureka. This is the uh, Dogs of War, starring Christopher Walken, a uh, great actor. And this one does come with the book clip. Uh, it's been years since I last watched this one about a uh, team of uh, mercenaries. I think I probably have most of the uh, Christopher Walken movies from his career that I am a fan of. Dogs of War being the last one. And on to what I picked up in FOP. Uh, this one missing from my Steve McQueen collection, the original The Blob movie. Actually, Dan Physical Media for Life, he actually bought this one for us in exchange of an extra copy of the walking dead season nine uh, it's been years since i last uh, watched this one b movie from the 50s but I do prefer the remake which they made in the 80s but yeah a missing movie from my steve mcqueen collection the blob what's gonna this one up a few months back BFI release of Tales from the Hood the first and second movie I do enjoy my horror anthology movies and TV series but this one I haven't seen either of them and uh, for two movies in one uh, had to grab this one up had to grab this one Tales from the Hood guys let us know what you think about uh, Tales from the Hood. I always wanted to pick up the uh, Screen Factory release of this one, but that one is a, a pretty expensive uh, buy from the US, but happy it's got a UK release, Tales from the Hood. This one recently released, fan of Italian cinema, and this is a Eurocrime movie, silent action from the uh, Giallo director. 
so, uh, Sergio Martino, who's known more for his uh, Giallo movies. But this one from a new company, Fractured uh, Visions. This one stars uh, Luke Miranda, uh, Mel Ferreira, and also Thomas Millian, one of my favourite spaghetti western um, actors. Yet to see this one, but looking forward to uh, more Euro crime movies. They do have another another Thomas Millian movie that they're going to be releasing. But yeah, we'll see what this uh, company, Fractured uh, Visions, puts out. And this is a uh, first release and limited edition of uh, Silent Action, a Euro crime movie yet to check out. And finishing off my Rocky movie collection, this is Creed, which I enjoyed this one at the cinema. And Stallone, he should have won the Oscar for this one. Um, enjoyed this one with uh, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, as much as I want to think that the franchise is uh, over, uh, they still put out these... Uh, movies into the franchise but Creed is a great movie and the last one finishes that collection Creed 2 which I haven't seen uh, yet um, not too sure what I'm going to be getting with this one because you do have uh, Dolph Lundgren Ivan Drago he returns in this one but as a trainer and so uh yeah, probably I wouldn't like to see too many more Rocky-related movies. Uh, I think they've gone as far as they can go with these uh, with with this franchise. But still, nevertheless, still looking forward to checking out Creed 2. And the next item is a book that I picked up in Forbidden Planet. Big fan of... The original Batman TV series from the 60s and uh, what a bargain for this book uh, for 99 Batman a celebration of the classic TV series and probably might do a separate video on this uh, book So there you have it guys, all the items, movie related items that I picked up on a recent visit to London and uh, I will leave the link of Dan Physical Media for Life uh, on his uh, new update which he will show some of the uh, titles, uh, a lot of titles that he also picked up in London also. So guys, let us know what you think of the items I picked up. Uh, and uh, always good to read your comments. So guys, take care, stay healthy and well. And as always, keep on collecting and keep on talking movies.